Cheers, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It is Monday. It is Oddity Day. Hopefully, you are having a you had a great weekend and you uh, enjoy what we do. If you do, make sure you hit the like and subscribe. It does mean a lot to us. So today, this is an Oddity Day. This is the day where we do vodkas and rums and tequilas and liqueurs and gins and whatever. And so today we have something special. We've gone to Corsair in Tennessee. I'm sorry, Kentucky, no, in Tennessee. And we picked up several of their bottles. And so this is, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I just burped. This is one bottle that, um, our, our second to last, we have one more to go. But this is the Corsair Red um, Absentia. Absent. Red Absent. Uh, so I gave Cody a little bit before and he was looking at it like, what the hell is this? Because he's not a big Absence fan. So they distill this. Um, it's from the Corsair Company in, um, I believe it's Memphis, if I'm correct. Maybe I'm not. Pretty sure I am. You know what? I always say that, and then all I have to do is look on this bottle, well, and it'll reading. tell me you were reading. I don't think you were I reading. Do you do not. Uh, Nashville. So this is Corsair's in Nashville. Excuse me, I was looking at the pictures. Oh, okay. Uh, the proof is 56 percent or 112 proof. So I don't know what absinthe normally comes it's in. It's kind of proofy. Yeah, it seems proofy. Right. We have three or four different absents here, and they're usually right here, and I don't see them, but I don't know what absinthe normally comes in. But 112%, no age statement, and the cost is $55.99. I believe you can get this possibly nationally. Um, you don't have to be in Tennessee. Well, and it says it has the dragon wormwood in there, mm -hmm. and the wormwood is what was supposed to make you crazy. Yeah, but I think a lot of that was a um, urban myth. Or maybe they had like lead in it or something. I don't know. I think um, a lot of, I like absinthe, I don't know, do you? Yeah, because it's got that um, anise and mm -hmm. the licorice flavor. Anise. So uh, it doesn't say how much it's aged for, but this is uh, batch 98, bottle 146 out of 156. And I really don't think if you did the whole thing over the ice, drip it over the ice, it would turn green or whatever with this one. Well, well it's a red absinthe because it's got hibiscus in it, I believe. Um, so pot distilled with herbs and spices and infused with red hibiscus flowers. Yeah, I like it. The smell, mm -hmm. it smells like licorice it does but not as strong as some absinthe does <clears throat> it's got a little black pepper aroma to it that anise that that black licorice and a, a little floral much must, must be the hibiscus whoa it's got a very it's got a bite to it it's got a very peppery spicy bite to it back end and now at the very tail end of it, I'm getting that anise, that absinthe flavor. Uh, and it's strong, whoo, is it strong? So this would be probably a really good additive to um, cocktails that require absinthe. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe even as an absinthe rinse, it just doesn't have the strength of the green absinthe, which we keep in this bottle, um, the, the aroma strength. Actually, I can't even get that. No, this is much more. Powerful. Yeah. I don't know where our absinthe went. It got moved. There was, there's that skinny bottle right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is... Um, Seventy percent. Um, it's got a tax ticker on it. I think got that in Europe somewhere. Yeah, I think we got this in France, but I don't think it's France or French. I think it might be New Amsterdam or something. Can definitely tell the color difference. Oh, yeah. This is almost like a 
a menthol mint. And this powder. doesn't have that aroma to it either. This one just blows your socks off. But it's that hibiscus. It's not so much the anise. Now you get the anise on the back end. Oh yeah, this has got much more of a minty uh, licorice anise. Very tasty. This one's hot and spicy too. This is very tasty on the front end. Get you on the back end. And then, then at the very end you get that absinthe anise flavor. Ooh, much more. Wow, this is much more powerful. This is much more palpable, smoother. Yeah. I like the Corsair quite a bit. I like absinthe. And I got that little bottle, I got the sprayer, and I got three or four different variations. Um, this is really good. This has got a mint coating to it. So, and I didn't know. I was living in California for a while. I didn't have a car, so I'd like hitchhike or take the bus to work. And where I worked, there was no transportation, so I had to work from the bus or walk from the bus stop. And you had to walk through the fields of anise. Oh, okay. And so you're just walking here, just smelling that licorice. I was wondering where that was coming from. I don't know, tell us what you think about Corsair's Red, the hibiscus uh, infused anise um, or absinthe. Uh, it's definitely unique because all the absinthe I've had before has been the green absinthe. Yeah. And we got multiple bottles of that. I do think I have one more absinthe bottle that we haven't done that's um, a smaller bottle somewhere um, out there, but we'll see. And I think I'd definitely like to try it with the little contraption with the ice and the little dripper going. Okay. We have the little sugar infused contraption thing, but I don't know. So maybe it's the sugar. Not yeah, it's the a little ice. metal thing that you put the sugar on and you... No, you put the sugar cube in there and mm -hmm. you drip it down. Yeah. I don't know. Tell us what you think about Corsair. I think we have one more um, odd Corsair coming up. And then we're done with the Corsair. We're slowly getting through all of that Nashville pickup. We got some, uh, what, a hundred plus bottles on that trip and just picking up the tail ends of them. So hopefully we're nearing the end. But tell us what you think about um, this Corsair. Do you like absinthe? What's your favorite? What's your favorite cocktail as well with absinthe? And of course, um, we use the infuser, the sprayer for Sazerac's because Good Sazerac has good absinthe, and that might be just the thing to add some uh, uh, flower, florals, like that hibiscus flavor to it. So tell us what you think. All right, make sure you check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Um, tomorrow we have a great whiskey, and of course, coffee's on Wednesdays. Thursdays, another great whiskey, and Fridays are cocktails. Uh, make sure you uh, check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, merchandise, and TikTok. What? What? Huh? Cheers, laters. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>